Hey everyone, it's Scott from CertMedia.com. Today I'm going to be going over First Contentful Paint Time and PageSpeed Insights. First Contentful Paint Time is a measurement in the lab data section of PageSpeed Insights and in Lighthouse. It is one of the six metrics that end up making up your score. The others, which will have their own videos made that go into each one of them in depth. This right here is my website. I'm going to be using it for all comparisons and the other website I'll be using for comparisons is cnn.com for no real reason other than it was the first URL that came to mind. I'll be going into each one of the lab data measurements and I'll be explaining general ways that they can be improved, what they mean and what you should target for and also why my score is particularly higher and what even I can do to improve. So to first address, first contentful paint time is a measurement for how long it takes the browser to render the first piece of the DOM. Or in layman's terms, think of it as the first piece of content on your page that is painted. There's styling added and it's visible and people can see it. And the first contentful paint time is usually the first indication of users on your website that it is in fact loading. Nothing is more annoying for user experience than to navigate to a web page and not be given any feedback about the why the website if it's loading if it's not loading and that's why items such as non-render blocking css non-render blocking javascript items have been added to the web to make the pages load more progressively so that's going to offer a better user experience some people like to cheat and if they have really poor web experience they will simply use a loading screen or a little loading icon that is over the entire website during the page's render. And that does provide useful feedback, but if people see that spinner for far too long, they're gonna get frustrated. Now, Lighthouse scores first contentful paint time in a very harsh way. First contentful paint time to get green, which is where mine is, it has to be within zero to two seconds. That is the fast rating. And that would put you in the top 75 percentile of websites in first contentful paint time. For mobile, I have it at 0.9 seconds. For desktop, it's 0 0.5 seconds. Keep in mind that Mobile PageSpeed Insights uses a 3G connection. Now we're going to compare CNNs. CNNs on mobile, their paint time is 10.9 seconds. And on desktop, it was 2.3. Now, maybe CNN users end up using the mobile app more often than they use the mobile website, but it's just for the sake of an easy comparison. So to get an orange, which would be the average rating, you would need to score between 50 and 74 percentile. So your time would be two to four seconds in the first contentful paint time. Now CNNs, on desktop ends up scoring a 2.3 second and the reason that this is the way it is is the measurement times are for mobile they're mobile biased so two to four seconds on mobile first contain contentful pain time is going to get you the average score anything over four is going to give you a red score which is going to be zero from 49. Ideally, you don't want to have your first contentful paint time in the red zone. Even if you can only focus on one score, getting some content in front of the users faster than is going to be more important than having your CPU idle time being particularly low. Users want to get response from your website by having the above the fold content loaded. And the first contentful paint time and the first meaningful paint time are quite similar in nature with some slight differences in how they're calculated. In the current version of Lighthouse, version 6.0, the measurement works like this towards your score to where your first contentful paint time has a 20% weight to your score. This has actually decreased from where it used to be. It used to hover around a 20, 23, 25% in older versions. So its weight has actually gone down. So if you've run your test previously with Lighthouse or in PageSpeed Insights, it may have gotten worse if other aspects of your lab data were particularly bad. 
So anywhere that's in the orange range or the green range, you're obviously going to be fine. If you're in the red range, you would want to have this optimized. Easy ways that you can do this are using critical CSS. So on my website, I use critical CSS. It's going to bypass it because I'm logged in, but the CSS is loaded in a non-render blocking fashion. My CSS is very light, and there are some areas that I could still improve. For instance, I've optimized my Google fonts to only load a certain subset of characters in the English language. So this has made my font files very large, but I use Ionicons and I load it from their CDN while loading it locally and serving it from my own CDN would be much better. And I could even cut out extra CSS that's just not being used. I could also move the Ionicon CSS lower down in the priority of style sheets because it's not going to be loaded. It's not, not going to be loading anything critical above the header. So when you load style sheets in WordPress, make sure that your theme, your main theme CSS, or in this case, atomic blocks in mine, since it's what I use to build my entire website, is loading first. And you want to get all your major CSS files loading. My Google fonts are loaded inline. That way they're not a separate CSS file. And all of my JavaScript is deferred and non-run blocking. If you really want to get your first contentful paint time down, having all your JavaScript, you most likely will need to exclude jQuery. Having it all deferred will have the largest impact in your first contentful paint time. However, it may have a negative effect on other aspects of the lab data, which we'll have to go into another video. But deferring and loading assets in a non-render blocking fashion is going to be the easiest way to improve your first contentful paint time and thus improve the overall score of your website in PageSpeed Insights. If I was CNN, their website is going to be extremely complicated with needs that are going to go far outside of basic lab data. And they've analyzed that their website is not loading particularly well. They do use AMP, as we can see. They also have an Android app. And a lot of their CSS seems to be inlined, which is actually not doing them any favors. Having all your CSS inlined causes an issue with the browser in particular because it's not able to cache it for repeat visits, which then actually lowers your contentful paint time, specifically on mobile devices where they're going to be caching these resources anyway. So one thing that they could do would be to load all of their CSS in just one file or a couple of files as opposed to loading it all in line. Otherwise, loading the JavaScript with the fur and async will be what they're already doing is gonna do them just fine. That's all we have for, for first contentful pay time. We'll be making additional videos for the first meaningful paint, speed index for CPU idle, time to interactive, and the max first input delay. And then we'll be doing an overarching video of how Lighthouse PageSpeed Insights works as well as what you should really aim for, depending on your niche and a variety of other factors. If you have any questions, you can feel free to put them in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.